They say the earth keeps her greatest secrets not in the skies, but beneath your feet. Every step you take, every trail you walk, beneath that layer of dirt and stone, could be hiding a treasure forged in fire and time itself. Gemstones, nature's secret currency, locked away for millions of years, waiting for someone curious enough to look closer. Welcome to EGS, where we explore Earth's hidden wonders and bring nature's secrets to light. Today we're going to uncover the hidden world beneath your feet and show you how to spot gemstones in nature that most people walk right past. So take a deep breath, focus your eyes, and prepare to see the ground in a way you never have before. Because the Earth doesn't give up her treasures easily, but when she does, it's unforgettable. Let's begin where all gems are born, the depths of the Earth's crust. Imagine a world of molten magma, immense pressure, and unimaginable heat. It's here, miles below the surface, that ordinary minerals transform into extraordinary crystals. Over millions of years, as the planet cools and cracks, these gemstones travel upward, carried by volcanic activity, erosion, and rivers, until one day they rest just inches beneath your boots. But to the untrained eye, they look like ordinary rocks. So how do you tell the difference between a simple stone and one that could be worth a fortune? It starts with understanding where to look. Gemstones don't appear randomly. They follow the logic of geology. If you're near ancient volcanic areas, mountain ranges, or riverbeds cutting through old rock formations, you might be walking through a natural gemstone hotspot. Volcanic pipes, known as kimberlite, are famous for carrying diamonds from the Earth's mantle. Meanwhile, pegmatites, those chunky, coarse-grained rocks, are known to hide emeralds, tourmaline, topaz, and even aquamarine. And rivers, they're the great sorters. Over thousands of years, they wash away softer rocks and leave behind the hardest materials, gemstones among them. That's why gemstone hunters often follow the water. If you've ever seen a prospector crouching in a stream with a pan, they're not just looking for gold. They're searching for glints of garnet, sapphire, peridot, or zircon. Gems tough enough to survive the river's endless tumbling. But spotting them takes more than luck. It takes the right eye. So let's train yours. When you walk through rocky terrain or riverbanks, look for color, transparency, and texture. Gemstones often appear smoother or glassier than the surrounding stones. Sunlight can be your best tool. Hold the rock toward the light. If it sparkles or lets light pass through, it's worth a second look. Quartz, one of the most common gemstones on Earth, can appear clear, white, purple, pink, or even smoky gray. It often forms in veins running through other rocks or inside geodes, those round stones that hide a miniature crystal universe within. Garnets often have a dark red or brownish hue and can be found in metamorphic rocks, especially near old mountain belts. They're tough, heavy, and surprisingly easy to miss unless you're patient. Then there's jade, often green but sometimes white or even lavender. It forms in high-pressure zones, like where tectonic plates collide. In volcanic regions, you might stumble upon peridot, a gem born from molten lava itself. Ancient Hawaiians believed it was the tears of Pele, the volcano goddess. And if you're truly lucky, a glint of blue in river gravel might reveal a sapphire, or even a diamond, the hardest substance on Earth. Some of history's greatest gemstone finds happened by pure accident. In 1871, a young shepherd boy in South Africa picked up a shiny pebble near the Orange River. That stone turned out to be a 21-carat diamond, sparking one of the greatest diamond rushes in history. In the American state of Arkansas, a farmer's son once found a sparkling stone in a plowed field. It was a 40-carat diamond. Today, that same spot is known as Crater of Diamond State Park, where anyone can still dig for gems. And yes, people still find them. Even in recent years, hikers and treasure hunters have stumbled upon emeralds in North Carolina, sapphires in Montana, and topaz in Texas. The Earth hasn't run out of gems. We've simply stopped looking closely. But remember, gemstone hunting is more than a quest for value. It's about discovery, patience, and connection with nature. When you hold a gemstone in your hand, you're holding a piece of Earth's memory, 
formed under conditions we can barely imagine. Some crystals began forming before the first humans ever walked the planet. Each one tells a story of heat, pressure, and time. A sapphire whispers of ancient volcanic fires. An emerald carries the breath of mountain-making forces. A diamond, forged 90 miles below the surface, is a message from the planet's heart itself. These are not just stones. They are Earth's frozen miracles. And yet the most beautiful part of gemstone hunting isn't what you find. It's what you learn. You learn to observe, to slow down, to see what others overlook. You learn that the ground beneath your feet isn't just dirt. It's a living archive of creation. Every pebble, every layer, every shimmer tells a story billions of years in the making. In that way, gemstone hunting becomes more than a hobby. It becomes a meditation, a journey between science and wonder. But let's be honest, spotting gemstones isn't easy. The earth hides her treasures well. So here are a few simple tips that can make the difference between going home empty-handed or finding something remarkable. Tip 1. Learn your rocks. Know the host rocks where certain gems are likely to form. For example, emeralds often occur in schist or pegmatite, sapphires in basalt or marble, and garnets in metamorphic rocks. Tip 2. Check hardness. If you find a crystal and want to test it safely, try a scratch test using common materials. A quartz, for instance, will scratch glass, but softer minerals won't. Tip 3. Look when the light is right. Early morning or late afternoon, sunlight casts long shadows and highlights reflections you'd miss at midday. Tip 4. Bring simple tools, a rock hammer, a chisel, a magnifying lens, and a small bag for samples. That's often all you need. Tip 5. Respect nature. Always fill any holes you dig and never damage ecosystems or private land. The best treasure hunters leave no trace except the knowledge they gained. Some might say finding gemstones in the wild is rare, but maybe rarity is the point. Because when you finally discover one, after days or even weeks of searching, it's not just a rock you're holding, it's proof that patience pays off, that curiosity still matters, and that our planet for all its modern noise and technology, still holds mysteries that can stop us in our tracks. If you've enjoyed this journey into Earth's hidden treasures, make sure to stay with EGS, where every episode uncovers more secrets of geology, gemstones, and the world beneath us. Remember, every step you take could bring you closer to discovering something ancient, beautiful, and priceless. So keep your eyes open, your curiosity alive, and your hands ready to dig into the unknown, because the next great gemstone discovery might just be under your feet.